What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. See that red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that and show your support for the channel. Those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to LTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So with all the talk of the new 2020 Dior Ohm and the lack of iris and how it's not Dior Ohm, and I haven't smelled it yet. When I get a chance, because uh, I'm working a pretty hefty schedule right now, when I get a chance, I will. I'm going to check it out. But I tell you what, when it originally got announced, I, I felt like it was time to stop procrastinating and I actually bought all the iris baits based scents from the Dior Ohm line. I've had, you know, other than the parfum, I've had samples over the years and I kept procrastinating and putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and then when that got announced and once it was set to release, I said, well, now's the time. Let me go ahead and get big bottles of the Dior Ohm line. Now, the iris-based Dior Ohm is not gonna be discontinued. It's gonna be called Dior Ohm Original. Now, is it gonna get a reformulation? I can't say yes or no, because I don't know. I would think a safe assumption is it's not gonna be the exact formulation, because the last formulation was 2011, and I believe they're due, and it's gonna be reformulated, obviously, because the bottle, the cap's changing and stuff like that. So I felt like we could revisit Dior Ohm. All the talk about 2020, let's give the beautiful 2011 formulation its due. Next. So, here it is, guys. A five ounce bottle of Dior Ohm, the 2011 formulation. Everybody knows this beautiful presentation. You know, it's nothing new. The stem, Dior Ohm on the bottom, batch code information on the bottom, very good cap. And everybody knows about these iconic Dior atomizers. This silky smooth. When I sprayed this morning, this was actually my scent of the day today. When I sprayed this morning, I did a little light spray on the front of my, my neck. It's just top notch. So we're actually going to go review style on this. We're going to revisit it because I've actually never reviewed it before. Even though it's nothing new, I felt like it's still worth talking about. This is still an elegant fragrance. Perfect for the way I'm dressed right now. So. This is the 2011 formulation. It's classified as a woody floral musk. Top notes are lavender, sage, and bergamot. In the mid, you're looking at iris, amber, and cacao. And on the base, you're looking at vetiver, patchouli, and leather. So your presentation, obviously, I kind of jumped around a little. I apologize, but I actually rate this beautiful presentation an 8 out of 10. It's unique. No other bottles look like the Dior own bottles. Um, they're not the greatest thing ever, but they are far from basic and not replicating anything in particular. So like I said, eight out of 10. Now let's get into this scent. So what I get from it in the top, I do get a slight citrus from the bergamot. Um, I don't really detect a lot of sage. You definitely get some lavender. It's got an aromatic quality that really brightens it up in the opening. And you're getting the iris. Undoubtedly, you're getting the iris and you're getting some cacao. It's chocolatey iris in the opening, very aromatic. Um, it's the lipsticky vibe that it's known for. Uh, it's very, very floral from the iris, it's, but it's that powdery lipsticky floral quality that, like I said, that iris is known for. And then in the transition, it starts to warm up with a little bit of amber. The leather starts to creep in in the patchouli. Um, I never really pick up a whole lot of vetiver but you're definitely getting the cacao, you're getting the iris, the lavender starts to fade, and then once you get down into the base, it's vetiver, sorry, patchouli, leather, and iris, and the cacao is kind of fading out at that point. It's gorgeous, it's elegant, it's well put together. Like I said, it goes perfect with what I'm wearing today, a suit and a tie, it's why I wore it today. Um, it's office friendly. It's a little metrosexual, and so therefore it makes it kind of daring because not your most more masculine guys probably won't love this one a whole lot. Um, but in my opinion, this scent's beautiful. I hope they don't mess it up too much when when they most likely reformulate it for the new Dior Ohm Original as it's going to be rebranded. Um, I think the scent on this one is an 8.5 out of 10, no doubt. 
The Parfum is my favorite. This is number two in the line for me. Number three being Diorum O and then Diorum Intense taking the caboose because I'm not always in the mood for the sweetness of Diorum Intense because Diorum Intense, it's a super sweet iris. And I like sweet fragrances, I like iris based fragrances. But when it comes to Diorum line, I like the less sweet ones more. Um, now jumping into this longevity, I actually did get every bit of eight hours with this today. Uh, it did fade at that after that. Uh, projection's not real heavy, but the, on the longevity department, I got very good. I know some people say they get four hours, five hours. I apologize to you dry skin guys. You know, oily like I am. The only spot that's not oil, really oily on me is the top of my hands. That's the spots that drink these fragrances. When I spray my hands, they're not going to last. But if I spray my forearm, they're going to last. If I spray my chest, my neck, anywhere around there, it lasts. So longevity, 8 out of 10. Projection, eh, that's where it kind of lacks. Don't get me wrong. Uh, about arm's length for an hour and a half, then it starts to sit pretty close to the skin. You're going to get a mild, and I mean mild, kind of subtle scent trail that's going to follow you. Somebody's got to kind of be in your personal space. Uh, it can waft lightly in the air for a few hours, but it becomes a relatively close skin scent. Once you start creeping into that six, seven hour mark, it's pretty much a skin scent. Kind of a strong skin scent is how I'll put it. Um, and then it fades after the eight hour mark. So for projection, I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10. Overall, this bad boy right here is still an eight out of 10 fragrance in my opinion. I know the rating works out to 7.75 out of 10, but I round it up, so sue me. This is an eight out of 10 fragrance. This is one that's worth having. I know a few other reviewers have said it was being discontinued. That's not the case. It's not being discontinued. It's being rebranded and most likely reformulated. Um, I didn't want to risk any supply and demand and pricing issues. Not that that's going to happen anytime soon, but I was ready to, to get my hands on them anyway. And this just kind of pushed it over. Well, instead of getting 100 ml bottles, I'm going to get 150 ml bottles. So I have the big 150 ml of Dior Homme. I have the big 150 ml of Diorum Intense, Diorum O. I have my 75 ml of Diorum Parfum and a backup bottle of Diorum Parfum. So I have five ounces of all the iris based Diorums. So, like I said, one that very elegant, very put together. It's definitely perfect for situations such as what you see forward. Uh, being in the boardroom, being in the offices, being in a professional setting. This is that fragrance. It's going to do it for you. And really and truly, you're going to be in a climate controlled environment so you can wear this bad boy year round. This can be signature scent if you wear a suit on a daily basis. But as always, guys, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Let me go ahead and put this bad boy right back where he goes. Um, I was debating on doubling up on him tomorrow. I'm just wearing him tomorrow too. But it's going to warm up a little bit. I kind of want to bust out Aqua Digio Profumo, and that's most likely what I'll do. Um, I know this is kind of unexpected. This wasn't originally the video I had planned for tonight, um, and I don't know if y'all have caught on to how I'm doing things. I'll record the video because I'm getting off much later than I used to. Um, so I'll record the video, and then in the morning when I'm having my coffee, I'll do my edits and stuff like that, and then sometime in the early afternoon, I'll post the video the following day. So that's kind of where it's going. So you'll see this video. This was my, what I wore in my scent of the day on Wednesday, but you'll see this video on Thursday. So, but until next time, guys, I will say if you get your hands on Dior Homme, especially that 2011 formulation, you give it a spray now. You're not just going to thank me later. You're going to thank everybody else you've heard it from too. Have a great day, guys.